I want to tell you that we are at the brink of the coming of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And if your heart is not pure this morning, if your life is not in order, please make sure because you can't miss it. You can't stay behind. I've got this urgency in my heart to, to talk to you this morning, to deliver this message. And that's why the theme of this message is Egypt, the place of slavery. You have to get out of this place of slavery today. The Lord says today is a day that you have to get out of your circumstances that is keeping you back, that is bringing um, um, a division between you and the Lord, between you and your breakthrough. And the Lord says, it's time to rise up. It's time to rise up and take the first step and move out of your slavery as soon as possible. A while ago, a young lady asked me this question. Is my Egypt my final destination? She was worried about the situation because she knew that she was bound by the enemy and that she was in slavery and that she was living in bondage and she has to get out of it, but she didn't know how to get out of it. And the meaning of it is the way that when she said, um, how do I get out of this? How do I get out of this slavery? I said to her that it is so easy. My answer was the following. Allow today your place of slavery to become your way of escape. You have to decide today. I am in this place of slavery. I don't know how to, I can get, or to get rid of it, but I have to move forward. So my friends, stand up. Pack your bags where you are and move forward. You can't stay in this situation any longer. Jesus is coming. Jesus is on the way. And I believe as from now on every minute of the day, we must be ready to, to, to hear the sounds of the trumpet and to be ready to meet our Jesus, our bridegroom in the air. And yes, for too long, this place of slavery, my friend, was your hiding place. You know what? Your place of slavery later becomes a, a, a hiding place, a comfort zone. And this curse of slavery has to be broken and it's time to escape from your slavery today. I want you to open your eyes this morning to tell you that there is hope for you who are in slavery this morning. Matthew 12 verse 13 to 15. I'm going to read it for you. The Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and instructed him to get up and flee to Egypt with a child that was Jesus and his mother and he said stay here until I tell you to return because Herod is going to try to kill the child and let me stop here there is an enemy called Herod the spirit of death that is after your soul who want to kill, to steal and to destroy everything that God has planted in your life. He wants, his main issue is he wants to get you. He has to get you out of God's purpose and God's plan for your life. Verse 14, that night Joseph left for Egypt with the child that's Jesus and Mary his mother and they stayed there until Herod's death. This fulfilled what the Lord had spoken through the prophet. I called my son out of Egypt. And this refers to Isaiah 11 verse 1 that says, When Israel was a child, I loved him as a son and I called my son out of Egypt. Egypt. Listen to me. The Lord is calling us out of Egypt this morning. He's saying, I call you my son. I call you my daughter today, not tomorrow, not later. Now, out of this Egypt that you are stuck in, you are sitting there, you are sitting there and you enjoy the comfort zone, but stop it. Slavery is not from the Lord. It will keep you from heaven. You cannot stay any longer, my child. It's time to leave, says the Lord. Joseph and Mary were forced to leave Bethlehem. 
the birthplace of Jesus because the life of the child was in danger and the Lord instructed Joseph to flee to Egypt. Why Egypt? Listen to this. The Lord opened it for me this morning. The place of idolatry, bondage and slavery. That is Egypt. Jesus was taken to the place where his forefathers suffered. And the place where they suffered became a place of safety for a season. We don't listen to this. I want to tell you this morning. We we, we, we don't always understand the ways of God. But I realize wherever Jesus walked on earth, wherever he went, wherever he entered, the chains of slavery were broken. He came to set the captives free and he came to heal the broken hearted. And he's here this morning to open our spiritual eyes so that we can see what he has in plan and store for us. His plan for us is a land of milk and honey. His plan for us is not Egypt. He came to heal the broken hearted, my friend, and he's there to heal you this morning. He's there to set you free from your captivity. But you know what? We must be, we must be very careful not to bounce back into that comfort zone where it is easy, the place where you used to stay. And that's why Father God allowed Jesus to step into Egypt. I believe the moment when they carried him into Egypt. The curse of slavery was broken. The curse of slavery and bondage was broken because I said when Jesus entered here on earth while he was walking, my friend, you know what? Every knee had to bow. Every knee, every knee will bow this morning. Slavery had to bow. And that day when Jesus, when they carried Jesus into Egypt, idolatry and slavery over his nation was broken in total. No more law, no more bondage, no more slavery. Nothing could keep him or keep the breakthrough because Jesus, a piece of heaven, was entered and carried into the place of slavery, Egypt. Maybe you've been hiding too long in your place of slavery, my friend. Yes, your slave... Your place of, 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 of safety and your place of slavery became a spiritual bondage. You know what in Exodus 13 verse 3 Moses said to the people, listen to this. This is a day to remember forever. The day you left Egypt, the place of your slavery. For the Lord has brought you out by his mighty power. And whatever your circumstances might be, whatever your situation might be this morning, my friend, let me tell you, there is power in the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow, your bondages shall bow, your slavery must go, the chains that is binding you for so too long and you are carrying will be broken today by the power and the presence of Jesus. On your way out, there will be Egyptians following you my friend yes don't think it will be easy but you have to do it you have to be bold you have to be brave but you have to get out of your circumstances today not tomorrow now on your way out there will be Egyptians following you they want to destroy you but the Red Sea is ready to swallow them on your road out there there will be Amalekites attacking you and especially when you are exhausted and when you are feeling weak and weary always remember your enemy has no fear of God he has no fear of God's presence I made a note this morning I wanted to know what the spiritual meaning of the Amalekite is you see the Amalekite is after the kings he was after King Saul he was after King David and there's an Amalekite spirit 
He's arrogant, sneaky, manipulative, and deceiving. He has no respect for authority. He will not listen to you, but you have to overcome him. He has no respect for authority and will kill the king inside of you. He's after the king that is inside of you. He will distract and he will oppress you. So you have to overcome oppression now. You have to go overcome depression now. You will not allow, you cannot afford to allow that enemy, Amalekite, who is after the king on the inside of you. You were born to be a king, a prophet, and a priest, and he's after you. He's after the prophet inside of you. He's after the king inside of you. You know what? When, when Moses, when Moses refused to talk, he said, Lord, I cannot speak. Lord, I cannot talk. The use, Lord used another voice, the voice of Aaron to do the work. So what happened? Yes, Moses just pushed away what God has actually planned for him. You cannot sit back. You cannot drop your mic wherever you are. You have to teach. You have to preach. You have to declare the goodness and the greatness of God. Do not let, allow the Amalekite to destroy your anointing. Do not allow the Amalekite to destroy the message of the Lord that is inside of you. You have to open your mouth and you have to speak. You know what? I could have sat back this morning due to the very, very bad weather conditions outside and the road in Johannesburg that are flooded and it's cold and I could sit back and say Lord oh what I try next week no but I had this urge inside of me to deliver this word for you today and I know that I know that I know you have to listen you have to stand up because there's no more time left Jesus is coming your enemy has no fear but you you not afraid you fear God you're not afraid this morning. You are God's special possession. Your enemy has no fear but. However, you are God's special possession and he will give you power to overcome and will give you rest. Let me tell you this morning, he will give you the power today to t and the authority and the boldness to stand up, to get out of your situation, not by might nor by power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. My last few things I want to leave with you this morning. There are a few things to remember when you leave Egypt. Listen to this. Jesus was in Egypt to break your bondage to slavery and you will be no longer a slave no more slavery Egypt is not your future the land of milk and honey is your future don't leave your testimony don't leave your testimony behind of how he delivered you from this Egypt this morning. Never ever forget. You have to testify because people are waiting for your testimony. People are waiting for your story, how the Lord delivered you from this Egypt in your life. So don't leave your testimony behind. In Exodus 13, 19, listen to this. This is very interesting. In Exodus 13, verse 19, Moses took the bones of Joseph. That was Joseph the dreamer. And Moses took the bones of Joseph with him. For Joseph had made the sons of Israel swear that they would take his bones with them when God led them out of Egypt, as he was sure God would do it. So while Joseph was alive, he believed with his whole heart that one day God will deliver them from their Egypt. They promised Joseph to take his bones with them. Listen now carefully. Meaning, Egypt was not meant for Joseph. It was not meant for him to stay. Not even his bones. They promised Joseph. Meaning, they take the promises with him or them before they leaving. Listen to me. Before you leave, take 
your promises with you. Before you leave, take the promises that you have made today. You take it with you. You never forget the promises that you have made to your father. And another thing is, take the promises of the Lord with you. Whenever the Amalekite is after you, whenever uh, the Egypt is following you to take your back into slavery, you have the word of God. You have the promises of God and that is your weapon against the Amalekite who wants to steal and to kill the prophet and the priest and the king on the inside of you and want to take you back to slavery they want to oppress you but in the name of Jesus stand up you have the promises Moses didn't leave without the bones of Joseph the dreamer because they promised him that they will take the bones with the promise the promise the promise you take your promise with you you take the promises you made with God with you and remind him of his promises whenever the Amalekite is after you whenever bad circumstances is against you you use the promises of God you carry it with you and you speak to this enemy you talk to him and tell him he must go in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth the promises you made to God and God's promises must be always be with you That's my message for you today. Father, I pray now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that we, I declare it, Lord, I decree it, that we are more than conquerors. We step out of your each of our Egypt this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I don't know what the name of this Egypt in my friend's life is, but thank you, Lord, that you deliver them, that you set them free. I pray, Lord, Lord Jesus that you break every chain every chain of slavery this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Lord we repent again this morning forgive us our sins Lord wash it away with the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and thank you Lord I declare and decree my friend you are more than a conqueror you are the heads and not the tails stand up rise up and step out of your Egypt today in Jesus mighty mighty name amen and amen